It has been estimated that over half of people with diabetes, both type 1 and type 2, experience the dawn phenomenon. It's like your body wakes up before you do, releasing hormones that push your blood sugar higher in the early morning hours. In this video, let's learn more about the dawn phenomenon and factors that contribute to high morning blood sugar. And most importantly, we'll share some practical tips backed by research to help you manage those morning spikes. First of all, let's see what the dawn phenomenon is and how you can tell if you have it. Your blood sugar naturally fluctuates throughout the night, even for healthy individuals. While these ups and downs are normal, they typically remain within a healthy range of 70 to 100 units. However, in the early morning hours between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m., a phenomenon called the dawn phenomenon causes a natural rise in blood sugar levels. The key lies in measuring the difference between your lowest nighttime blood sugar and your highest morning blood sugar. If your morning blood sugar level is 20 units higher than your nighttime blood sugar, it indicates the presence of the dawn phenomenon. But for a more precise picture, Continuous glucose monitoring can track these fluctuations throughout the night and morning. The dawn phenomenon is linked to your circadian rhythm, hormonal changes, and the release of specific hormones like growth hormone and cortisol. These hormones basically help prepare your body for the day, essentially by raising blood sugar levels for energy. So if you're healthy, this temporary rise shouldn't cause any problems. However, people with diabetes may experience an exaggerated dawn phenomenon, leading to higher fasting blood sugar levels. Now let's learn which factors contribute to high morning blood sugar. Number 1. Hormonal Changes Our bodies have an internal clock, a small group of nerve cells in the brain that controls various functions like hormone release, temperature regulation, eating habits, and digestion. When this internal rhythm, known as the circadian rhythm, gets disrupted, it can negatively impact our metabolic health and even increase the risk of diabetes. Studies show that several key hormones experience changes during the night and morning, contributing to blood sugar spikes. One of these hormones is insulin. While it helps manage blood sugar, morning insulin levels are typically higher than evening ones, setting the stage for the initial rise in blood sugar. Another hormone is cortisol. This stress hormone peaks in the early morning, triggering the production of glucose, further elevating blood sugar. Next is the growth hormone. It naturally rises during the night. This nighttime surge helps with tissue repair, but works against insulin, leading to higher morning blood sugar levels. Surprisingly, some studies show that both total and free testosterone levels rise in the morning, potentially playing a role in the dawn phenomenon although the exact mechanism is still being investigated. These synchronized hormonal changes prepare your body for the day by ensuring sufficient energy, but in individuals with diabetes, this balance can be disrupted, leading to abnormal blood sugar spikes. Number 2. Hepatic Glucose Output According to the American Diabetes Association, in the early morning hours, hormones, including cortisol and growth hormone, signal the liver to boost the production of glucose, which in turn provides energy that helps you wake up. This triggers beta cells in the pancreas to release insulin in order to keep blood glucose levels in check. But in people with diabetes, this process may trigger abnormally, leading to high blood sugar in the morning. Number 3. Insulin Sensitivity While you sleep, your cells naturally become less responsive to insulin's message to absorb glucose. This means your body might need more insulin to achieve the same blood sugar lowering effect. Growth hormone further complicates these effects. During the night, your body releases growth hormone, which has the opposite effect of insulin. To compensate for the reduced sensitivity and growth hormone's influence, your body needs more insulin between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. compared to the rest of the night. Now let's talk about some effective strategies to manage high morning blood sugar. Number one. Follow a proper sleep schedule. Sleep schedule and blood sugar levels are closely related. High blood sugar levels can disrupt sleep, and disrupted sleep patterns can cause abnormal blood sugar spikes in the morning. When you don't get enough sleep, your body releases more stress hormones like cortisol. These hormones stimulate the breakdown of stored fat in your body, causing the levels of free fatty acids to increase in your blood. These fatty acids interfere with insulin's ability to unlock cells, 
and let glucose enter for energy. This creates a state of insulin resistance, where your body needs more insulin to achieve the same blood sugar lowering effect. Studies show that even one sleepless night can significantly affect your body's ability to use insulin effectively. One study shows that sleep deprivation increases levels of free fatty acids in the blood by up to 30%, lowering insulin sensitivity by up to 13%. Number 2. Change Your Diet Patterns Studies show reducing evening carbs by 25-50% to 50 can effectively improve morning blood sugar levels. This doesn't mean skipping dinner entirely, simply opt for protein-rich options like grilled chicken, fish or lentils instead of pasta or white rice. A 2018 study shows that individuals with type 2 diabetes who followed a low-carb dinner plan for 12 weeks experienced a 15% reduction in their morning fasting blood sugar levels compared to those on a standard diet. Speaking of a low-carb dinner, studies show that aiming for 20 to 30 grams of protein at dinner can improve morning blood sugar control by 10 to 15%. So changing your diet patterns can be extremely effective in preventing or managing morning blood sugar spikes. Work with your doctor or a registered dietitian to make a low-carb diet plan that suits your individual needs and health condition. Number 3. Physical Activity Consider doing a 15-20 to minute post-dinner exercise routine. A brisk walk, yoga session, or stationary bike ride are all great options. Studies show that this can significantly lower your blood sugar levels throughout the night and into the morning. Consult your doctor before starting any new exercise routine especially if you have any pre-existing health conditions. They can help personalize your approach based on your glucose monitoring and overall health. Number 4. Continuous Glucose Monitoring Unlike traditional finger pricks, CGM provides real-time, continuous data on your blood sugar levels throughout the day and night. This continuous stream of information empowers you to see exactly how your body reacts to various factors, including sleep, meals, and exercise. But remember that CGM may not be suitable for everyone. Discuss its potential benefits and drawbacks with your doctor. Number 5. Try time-restricted eating. Aim to finish your last meal around 6 p.m. This gives your body more time to process food and lower blood sugar before the dawn phenomenon kicks in. Number 6. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Adequate hydration helps your kidneys flush out excess blood sugar contributing to better overall blood sugar control. Number 7. Your doctor may also ask you to check your blood sugar at bedtime and around 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. for a few nights. This will help you and your doctor understand if you're experiencing the dawn phenomenon and monitor its severity. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.